it's time. Time to take to the skis. Ace Combat 04, Shattered Skies. The skies have not been shattered yet uh, in my playthrough, but that's okay. I'm learning the tragic backstory of Harmonica Kid, whose parents were destroyed in war. Uh, and then he met the pilot that he respected, but also resented because parents dead. So it's a real Batman of a tale. Uh, I thought about playing um, more con uh, Contra. That game rules. There's also R-Type Final. Didn't put a whole lot of time in R-Type Final 2, and I thought I would. That happens a lot these days. Oh yeah, definitely, um, definitely check out Grimy Ghost's stream, because they last coordinated a Racer Trash style re-edit of Mad Max Fury Road, and it was awesome. We're running a legit PS2. Yes, we are. Legit PS2 with maybe a slightly less... Still, no, still legitimate setup, really. There's a, there's software you can sideload on a PlayStation 2 called HD Loader. It is like a BIOS you can load onto the memory card that you... Certain... Certain games access the memory card in a certain way that allowed for allow for arbitrary arbitrary code execution, and then you can run a a mounting program essentially that will play disk images off the hard drive. Oh, you use that software? Okay, yeah, it's it's the coolest thing. Um, I remember getting it all set up in uh, like late stage PS2, and it was just the best. I had like two PS2s burn out on me. I did the flip top mod with like the, the hinge top one, the tiny boy. I was a tiny, tiny boy. Dang. PS2s were getting real small by the end there. Yeah, the old PS2 hard drive bit. You know what I realized? I think this is like a, a did you know gaming moment. Two civilian aircraft flying through the hills. Hold on, I want to save this up because this is are under threat of attack by erosion fires. Erosion, right? On Down with erosion. Responsible for Stonehenge. As well Stonehenge, as got it. Yep. They are offering remember information now. in exchange for amnesty and permission to defect to an ISAF member state. One of the aircraft is flying at an extremely low altitude due to some unknown. Problem. Hey, Sander, what's up? Your mission is to protect both aircraft from enemy fighters. Make sure they exit the You know, I was playing uh, Tycho Drum Master the other day, and I couldn't help but think about how much it reminded me of Groove Coaster and how cool Groove Coaster is. So I'm gonna, definitely going to get back to that soon. All right, did you know gaming? The screws on the back of the network adapter on the PS2 are perfectly sized for a 10 yen coin. Um, hold on a minute. Wait. Or whatever this is. No, that's a 10 cent. Is this a 10... Wait, is this European currency? I think so. Never mind. Whatever this coin is, fits beyond perfectly in the, uh... in the, uh, network adapter slot. It goes right in there. That's a euro. Yeah, okay. Sorry. I don't know why I thought yen. It's got a little rich that. Anyway, it's like the exact right size, and it's the exact right circumference. It just goes bloop! And it's like so, it's so solid in there. Anyway, I was impressed. I thought it was cool. Because I always like, I have to like get a penny and I'm like fiddling around with it or a dime or some tiny American coin. I don't mind asking if you play the P old school PS2 Monster Hunter. There was a Monster Hunter on PS2? No, is the answer. No. Monster Hunter wasn't really civilized before Try, whatever one was on Wii U. It was PSP originally, right? Oh, no, never mind. Monster Hunter. Huh, okay. I thought the series started on PSP. Oh. It 
was ported to PSP, and that's what released in the U.S., I think? Oof. I don't know. Capcom tried their hardest to make that series unlikable. That's a rough one. That's the first one I played. The PSP Monster Hunter. It sucked ass! I could not believe how bad it was. Holy cow. Holy cow. It's like a game that presumes you already know how to play Monster Hunter. Which is like the worst assumption you can make in a Monster Hunter game. Maybe they just decided there was no time for a tutorial or something. Or to explain any of it. And ugh, having no camera controls in a Monster Hunter? Can you imagine it? Actually, no, I think there was no lock-on. There was something really egregious in the PSP Monster Hunter that made it unplayable. Like the monster would just jump behind you when you were fucked. It, it was just gone. Uh, I had a bad time trying to play Monster Hunter by myself in a vacuum. And then like everything took 20 minutes to kill. I had no idea that that was normal. Just have to beat the hell out of it over and over again. All right, ah, gotta blow up the plane flying real low. Okay, I wasn't paying attention, but it's all right. I had to blow up planes. Although these aren't very good. They miss things that matter. Uh. Escort the civilian aircraft. Air Ixium, this is Sky Eye. Please describe your situation. Air Ixium Flight 702 here. The Russian fighters are closing in on us at 23,000 feet. Russian. Please hurry. Flight 701 here. We were shot on takeoff and our captain's injured. This is First Officer Nagase. 10 4, an escort is inbound. Both aircraft. I thought they said the, uh, the airplane was flying low. It's a big target. Just shooting your shirt in. We're losing too much fuel. Oh. The ISAF fighters engaging the erosions. Here. Radar lock. Cool, cool. Mobius one, there's another bandit closing in on flight 701 at 6,000 feet. 6,000. Flight 701, can you raise altitude? This will assist the ISAF escort. Negative. We cannot maintain cabin pressure if we climb. Missing. There we go. Mobius one shot down a target. Box two, box two. This is flight 702. Several Erosian military aircraft are inbound and closing rapidly. Mobius one, hostiles at 23,000 feet. Don't let them get near those aircraft. Box one, box one. Mobius one shot down a target. This is Flight 702. The ISF plane has the erosions tied up. We just what? make it. Missed. Box 2. You got one of the good guys? Target hit. The target is an escort flight. Mobius 1, Box 2. Don't bother with a small fry. Whew. You see Morbius 1? Mobius. But yes. Everybody, hey, it's the summer of Morbius. Everybody Morbin. Everybody's Morbin. Well, everybody's Morbin. What's the word on the street? Because everybody's Morbin. Multiple aircraft confirmed at 6,000 feet. Flight 701, enemy aircraft are closing in, but you're almost out of illusion airspace. Maintain current altitude and speed. The ISAF escort will cover you. Roger. We'll do our best. Our lives are in your hands. Box 
was a slick move, actually. If I didn't look, it seemed kind of like spin out like that. Missile hit. Okay. Whew, that was intense. Sky Eye here. Both aircraft have exited the combat area safely. There were no losses. The mission was a success. Sky Eye, this is Flight 701. Although I'm gonna guess this this game probably doesn't have like branching missions Please or anything. Please thank the fighter. I could not spam the Quake dancing emote when the Quake 3 gameplay came on during the break. The game was rough. Can't do it again. Well, hopefully by the time you get the, that many points, the sting will have faded. All passengers and crew Very sorry to have hurt you in this way. By an ISAF well, you understand. Officer. It's part of the grand tapestry of life or something like that. Several states are coming through. I promise it's actually really deep, if you really think about it. Really, it's really deep. Maybe it reminds us of the impermanence of uh, the intangible. Asks you to question what you really value in this world. Do you value things? Do you value time? Do you value memories? You value status. See, it's very deep. Oh, it does have branching missions. Oh. Expect them for incredibly large map missions that have a mix of all targets. Okay, I feel like I've done one of those. It was a very, like there was one where you had to like strafe over like three kind of port areas. I've, I'm impressed with the mission variety, I have to say. They, they, they've already been throwing like a variety of scenarios and landscapes and stuff. It renewed my appreciation for so many things. You are right. Food and drink has even changed for me. That is normal. Mm -hmm. Bombs yes. were delivered to their base. Or This meant that an enemy who had to be fought by those means was close at hand. The resistance blew up the squadron's runway. Yellow 4 suffered light shrapnel wounds. Though the runway could be fixed, the complete loss of reserve supplies was a heavy blow. Logistics support became infrequent following the Allied operations. I knew this because Yellow Squadron's crew chief belly ached about this all the time to me. I won't complain if I buy the farm while I'm airborne, but I can't stand being taken out while I'm grounded. Now I understand 13's feelings. Reports of the Stonehenge air raid came in. Yellow floor ran with the others. With no bombs, her plane was light. But her plane was in bad shape. It needed an engine replacement badly. Someone's saying this game has branching paths because it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. We will attack Stonehenge, the lethal weapon that has plagued ISAF for so long. You're Kir Kiryuing me. To shoot down oh, missions. Wait, what? Small fighters flying unpredictable high-speed courses should be able to get protected. Are there secret missions or something? According to the defectors, its central ECM jamming system disrupts our radar and missile guidance systems. Unless this system is destroyed, our mission will be very difficult to execute. X4 is 100% linear. All right. So 40% casualty rate for all deployed aircraft. Then I won't feel bad about missing any hot secrets then. Now go and reclaim the skies over the mainland. Dismissed. Oh, okay. So the the missions have caught up to the the like narration. Interesting. I literally wrote a guide on it. I believe you. I mean, you, you bashed out a guide pretty quickly for uh, Electrosphere. It's probably still on GameFAQs. Did you go by the same username? Gotta type in the O4. Got it, guys. Well, now I know there's 18 missions. <laughs> Boston Mini 2, Frozen Sky, Emancipation, Shotgun Nova, and Minesweeper. And then OOZ662 and GBness have in-depth guides. I have to I have to guess. Which one? Which one was it?
want to see shot shotgun Nova. Oh, it's gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> None of them really called to me. It is I, Lawrence, your dream, an Asian. My God. I can't believe they still make those. How are you doing? Well, by your name, you're angry. I'm sorry about that. Don't worry, I'm not angry. I'm just uh, I'm just war fighting over here. Your screen name used to be Gun Fairy. Pretty good. Right, what sweet planes we got. I like coming here just for the guy just smacking out tasty licks on the base in the corner. RMO1? Who's that F22? Not angry white gaming isn't taken if you want it. It's a bit of a mouthful, but I guess it couldn't hurt. Secure those assets for my production company. And then I can build the time myself. I just realized I could probably just like file a ton of stupid paperwork that doesn't do anything. Uh, like try to try to skim the edges on my business, but whatever. I'm glad I was able to watch the VOD at SGDQ you hosted. It's cool seeing you be part of such a great event. Well, thank you. I I certainly felt very cool about it too. I was very glad to be involved. Um, we're assaulting Stonehenge, right? That's got to be air to ground, yeah. Taking the bombs. Real indicated targets. Uh, I should, probably should have taken the... Yeah. Warthog, maybe? I don't know. Nope. I, uh... The very first time I went to the... Hazel Public Library. Went to Nintendo.com. Stonehenge is responsible for the loss of many aces. Punched in a username. It was set forever. Be sure to make it back in one piece. Incoming from Stonehenge! All aircraft descend to lower altitude! So that's Stonehenge. See a missile chasing me at some point. Ah, God, no! Oh, sorry. The uh, right stick gets a little weird. Ugh, that was terrifying. And it confirmed that Vector 150. I don't care if you hit one of our guys. AA guns destroyed. Yeah, 
One more bomb. What do you know? I'm on him. Missile! Missile! Ooh. Take off the weak ones first. Damage. Let's make it. Good job, Mobius One. Target destroyed! I repeat, Mobius One has destroyed the target. Holy! Everything was fine. Yeah, I got it. Sky Eye here. We confirmed via radar that Stonehenge was destroyed. But it looks like we've got the only fire here in Stonehenge Mach 2. Don't worry, our aces are faster than they are. You are all clear to the Stonehenge. This is gonna go well. I got a good feeling about this. Oh, that music's probably nothing. Not if I can get some cheeky head-on rockets off. Oh, no, the angle's all weird. It's pretty breaking, actually. Missed. He could take us all and knock that nine. You're telling me only five of them are stiff arming us? Mobius 1, incoming missile! Missile! Can't break like that. Evade, evade. Break, missile! Break, missile! Break, missile! Missile, break! Ryan. Radar lock! Good shit. Missed. I'm gonna need someone else. Don't even try. Leave him to Mobius One, okay? That would be nice. Uh... like stop it's weird it seems like they can just stop in place and then just like move at a right angle so nothing hits jesus christ what Go really, really slow. There we go. Just had to get one. Enemies can do PSMs in Ace Combat, but you can't until seven. It's a PSM. Oh. Mobius One. The other aircraft are withdrawing. Post stall That's maneuver. A ah! It's a complete victory for the good guys. So they actually can just stall out their planes in dogfighting? Oh, that's right, because when you stall, it just, like, forces you down. You can't actually, like... a turning point and hope this victory will bring about a quick end to the war. I'm sure it will. Get to do them in seven? That's cool. <laughs> Though he lost four, Thirteen never openly showed his sorrow. But I found out 
He was alone, quietly gazing at the handkerchief Yellow Four left behind. When he felt my eyes upon him, he said, No matter what, she can't complain. She went up with her plane in disrepair. Pilots are responsible for their planes. He then went on and spoke of the time when they first met. He spoke of when she was just a girl, before he trained her, before she became a fighter pilot. His words weren't directed at me in particular. He was keeping a precious memory alive by speaking those words. The hint of perfume on her keepsake handkerchief. Yellow Squadron's pilot turnover ran high. The skilled ones went in to shore up other units while rookies with little airtime transferred in. Yellow 13 posted an allied paper faxed over by headquarters. It praised the pilot who destroyed Stonehenge. 13 said to everyone, Look, here's something worthy of praise. Even among the enemy there are men like this. Not all of them are despicable bastards who rob our wings through cowardly sabotage. I stared at the barkeep's daughter as she winced at those words. The Allies were coming to our town. That's pretty artistic, I have to admit. I don't remember other games that do that. Where it's like, there's just the video game and it's video game levels and all the narrative is told from another perspective around the game happening. I want to say Band of Brothers, but that's not quite true. Because it was pretty directly like the characters you were playing as. Hmm. That's a neat, it's kind of a neat setup. I think it allows you to like create experiences that are tailored for each medium, you know, non-interactive cutscenes versus interactive video game. Amgram, thank you for the resub and, hap and thank you for the 30 months. Ace Combat loves to do that. Rad. Gotta kick it off with that drum kit. Da -da 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 -da. You to recon plane with engine trouble is currently passing through Gnome Ravine due to its inability to climb to higher altitudes. However, airship mounted noise jammers in the area are preventing the use of radar. At this rate, the crash is very likely. Voice calls in Halo 3 ODST? I guess voice calls in general. safely home. They rarely intersect with what you do, though. Like voice logs and lore is typically stuff that was left there before the events of the game. It's a lot of stuff. Wait, hold on. Oops. Wait, I'm gonna back in the back. Do the briefing again. A returning U2 recon plane with engine trouble. What are all those blocks? Passing through Gnome Ravine due to its inability to climb to higher altitudes. However, airship mounted noise jammers in the area are preventing the use of radar. At this rate, the crash is very likely. Destroy as many jammers in the valley as possible and get that recon plane safely home. Okay. Radar won't work, so you will need to return of Oberdin. Visually and destroy them with your machine guns. You know, Return of Oberdin is fascinating because it's a game where, like, the interactivity is the non-interactive thing. That's where all the puzzles are. It's in the audio. Huh. I don't know, I feel like you could... Like, there's so many amazing things that Oberdin does. Ac not necessarily accidentally, but, like, it, it pulls off a lot of what other, other games have flirted with. With a lot of ease. Are you going to play Ace Combat 6? It's console exclusive and out of print. I have a 360 and a copy of Ace Combat 6. I can get achievement points for it. Booyah. There's actually a retro game store in my neighborhood. Are you going to play Neon White on stream in the future? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I, ha I was like looking at it the other day. Probably going to buy it. Uh, so I probably need a fighter. Something really agile. Because this sounds like uh, it's just going to be a lot of guns. And emulators.
Pretty Mobile. The anime cringe writing in Neon White is worth experiencing. Oh, baby. Hmm. Anime cringe with Steam, Steve Bloom's rumbly tones in my ear. Oh, my. Is there, like, a lot of, a lot of like, annoying lore words that the people have to keep saying over and over again? It's like Final Fantasy XIII, where they have to keep saying Lassie and Falsie and Seath and Faith and all that stuff. And they have to keep dropping the proper nouns of everything around them. The world that they're in. The council they're a part of. The demon school they go to. Are you going to play Assault Horizon? Yes. Never tried that apparent POS? I love Assault Horizon. It's one of the few uh, Ace Combat games I've actually played through, and I really enjoyed it. But I understand, I guess, it's treated as a black sheep. Range air to surface. Rocket launcher. Eh? That sounds cool. Air to ground. Oh, eh. Okay, that's what it is. It's kind of like, a, it's a blanket gun. All right. What does it come with? Just a missile? All right, whatever. Unguided means the anti-radar is irrelevant. But it's, uh, like, it doesn't... Oh, air to surface? Not... Wait. It says air to ground there. Long range air to surface. That's homing. This is unguided. Whatever, it's called a rocket launcher. I'm gonna buy it. I don't know if this will be effective in this level, but I'll try it anyway. I mean, it's probably going to be better than the unguided bomb, right? They were in the air, I think. Oh, you got Ace Combat in the mail. Excellent. I love it when things arrive. Score at least 1,300 points, then the time limit continue to destroy enemy forces. Here's an airship jamming device. There are others as well. Destroy them all. Oh, creepy. Kind of see this one. This is Leopard flying north of Rome Ravine. Are the jammers disabled yet, Sky Eye? Nice app will handle the jammers. Maintain your course and we'll get you home safe. Roger, we're in your hands. This is fun. I always thought it was weird that there wasn't like a really gun heavy level. Dogfight mode is why Assault Horizon sucks ass. I liked it, though. I liked it. I, I was okay with the theater of it. But I guess I can see why people would resent feeling like the game is on automatic mode or something. Or that it's playing itself. I don't know. I don't know what the complaint was, really. Feels like you want to be low because you can probably see their silhouettes against the gray sky a little easier. I don't know how like high or low they get. I just have to kind of fiddle around and figure it out. Oh, they were very limited on the amount of jets you could pick? Okay. I had no expectation there. I was I was just a, a bumbling dummy with very little knowledge of the series, picking it up randomly. I don't know why that one, either. I think it was just like, we got a review copy. I was like, I'll play it. And I ended up having a marvelous time. I 
boxes for these guys are a lot bigger than I'm presuming they are. Desi Nizzle. There we go. Took me a second to parse that name. Hey, yeah, I've been streaming, uh, I've been going through these combat games. It's a series that I've always been, uh, curious about. And, uh, at the gentle encouragement of chat, I was convinced that it was time. I have moved into the PlayStation 2 era, which is really exciting. I was just really, uh, really impressed with just how artistically uh, aggressive and how ambitious Ace Combat 3 really was. Where are these turds? Is the one where you get go into space? Yes. It's the uh, futuristic cyberpunky one with cyber planes. And stories about uh, intercorporation warfare. Very rad. There was an internet called the Electrosphere. Top marks, really. Hey, yeah. I'm having trouble finding them now. If you enjoyed the story of Ace Combat at all, the earlier titles are a must. You say earlier. Uh, dang. I mean, so far, 3 is really the only one that's had a story. But if earlier you mean PS2, then I'm very excited to... Uh, Explore. Earlier means forward, forward, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Four's where the story starts. Oh, okay. Well, that's right, I, they, are, they are in the same universe, right? Except for, like, all of the knockoffs or not. Strange reel, yeah. So good. Get through. I have an A rank. What do you what do you want from me? Yeah, Project Wingman. I'm excited to get into that too. Hey, what's up, little Jay? How you doing? S rank, baby. Ha cha cha. Mobius-1, intercept all enemy fighters. Shoot down all bandits and protect the reconnaissance aircraft. Doing this now? Oh. Alright. Oh, is this... Please don't be the aces. I don't want to be alone against that. Time to morb out? Yeah. Good. I could use a good morbing. Keep your guard up and stay together. Don't fly a single ship. Leopard here. We've got company. 
company. We need additional support. Bandits closing in on the reconnaissance aircraft. The first morb of the day. These guys don't know what they just morbed on. Locked on. You're in gun range. Bogus one destroyed the target. Has anyone uh, done a Photoshop with the Top Gun logo, but made it say Top Morb? Obvious one, box two. Missed. Has anybody done that yet? Obvious one destroyed the target. Was it great getting to work with da games done quick? Yeah, it absolutely was. Very much so. It was. It was very uh, energizing. Box two. To work with them. Obvious one destroyed the target. Very, uh, very supportive, very encouraging, very welcoming. Locked on. Fox 2, Fox 2. Missile shot trashed. You're in gun range. Radar lock. Fox 2. Missile shot trashed. Style on it. Mobius One, recon aircraft is secure. Mission is complete. Or would become the new standard for the series Never gameplay, story, visuals, and audio. Fighter. Makes sense. It's, it's very standard success. setting, I can kind of tell. Oh, cockpit view. Such a cool fly the guy. Plane brought back data on Megalith. This is the super weapon designed by the Erusians to replace Stonehenge. Analysis by the Intelligent Unit leads to the conclusion that victory hinges on ending this war before Megalith is deployed. Megalith? We're building another one? Oh, wow. An Ace Combat Morbius meme. Come on and slam. Very good. Very good. Mobius 1. There's the plane. There's our guy. Mobius 1 is the story of a man that turns into a fighter jet every full moon. And he hates the Eurasians. Erusions, excuse me. Can't stand those guys. With Stonehenge out of commission, the landing operations are underway in the northern part of the mainland. In response, the Erusians have launched large numbers of cruise missiles against the ISAF landing forces. Our we get to shoot down cruise missiles? Missiles that fly in over low altitude. Oh, hell yeah. Failure to destroy these missiles will put our troops in danger. Your mission is to shoot and destroy each and every cruise missile. Shooting down cruise missiles is a top tier video game set piece very very into that it's one of the coolest it's simply one of the coolest things you can do in a video game you know the music ah. do that. Oh, can't afford it I gotta shoot down missiles. I mean, this still seems like a good plane for it. Although it doesn't have... I'm assuming I can lock onto the missiles, and I don't think this plane has any kind of, like, air-to-air -air lock on anything. I don't think it does. It's probably... Well, I guess I can use the 18. Fine. It says this is so good at air-to-air, -air, but... It's got his unguided bombs. Oh wait, no, every plane has missiles. What am I thinking of? This actually might be good for cruise missiles. Because they don't try to evade. Yeah, let's go with that. The Raptor is the series mascot jet and the cannon jet for Mobius. Yeah, and Morbius. He turns into an F-22. 
Mobius One, a wire from the Northern Landing Forces. It's like, it's the it's the vertical takeoff. It's the VTOL F-22, so that he can fly out of his his Morbius layer, his his hospital, I guess. So he can take off from the. He goes up to the roof, right? Because hospitals have those helipads on the roof, right? He gets done on all fours, and he's like, "Aroo!" And then he turns into a a VTOL enabled F-22. I guess the Navy Navy variant F-22. And then he takes off and then very slowly turns into flight and then goes off and feasts on other planes, uh, I guess. Or people? Would a vamp plane? Would a vamp plane try to like suck the oil out of other planes while they're flying, maybe? Commence operation. Don't let any escape. God damn it. Now I'm going to think about that. I'm going to think about that a lot. Suck people right into the jet intake. He's... Yeah, just turn them into a slurry. Target is closing in on the landing site. There they are. Fox one. More missiles on radar. Shoot them all down. Radar lock. Movies oh, one shot down. Some of them do miss. Okay, they wiggle a little bit. They wiggle. There's an amount of wiggle. A fighter? This yellow dot over here? has a spooky atmosphere it does it really does very tense which it ought to be i like the implication of the stakes box one box one the target split into two nice Target down. Mobius One destroyed the target. It got it got so fast. I can't catch up to it. Oh, that's bad. It's, it's, 60 miles and closing. Uh, it's outrunning me. Oh shit. They had to make it spicy somehow. Box two. Target down. 50 miles and closing. They're not going to the same spot. Radar lock. Box two. Box two. Missile shot trashed. One destroyed the target. Missile shot trashed. 40 miles in closing. That's stressful though, seeing the missile just run away from you. Missile shot trashed. Box two. Well done. <sighs> Mobius one, another aircraft has been sighted. That's strange. There's only one. The cruise missile is heading oh, south. Oh, missile cam? Ah. Looks like a regular warhead, but keep your distance. Am I, am I brave enough? Am I brave enough, boy? Freddy's missile cam? When the stakes have never been higher?
Missile shot trashed. Check six. Shoot it down with bullets. You're right. That is the coolest thing to do. I thought about it. Radar lock. Mobius 1, Fox 2. Hard enemy radar spike. I'm getting radar spikes. Ah! Explosion. Mission complete. The landing forces saw from below, and they extend their thanks. That was a pretty fun chase. Yeah, it made you work for it. Yeah, I thought eventually that they were just going to make me use the guns. Which probably would have been uh, way job. more efficient to begin with. No unnecessary loss it would level out just long enough for you to get in some good gun secure. damage if you were like... If you were trying to like, get behind it. No unnecessary loss of landing troops. Northern coast is secure. As the Allies advanced, the retreating erosion forces from the east filled our town. The AA gun crew set up their positions atop the hospital, and Yellow 13 smoldered with quiet anger over their tactics. Nights were long, with the town's mandatory blackouts. The barkeep's daughter tried to plant laser transmitters for detonating explosives. She got caught. Well, that's true. I'm not in cockpit mode. Right. I'll change it next time. Now that I have the power of the PlayStation 2, I can more accurately immerse myself in the simulation of reality than ever before. Damn. It was Yellow 13. He knew she was responsible for planting the bomb on their runway as well. The face of the enemy whom he hated belonged to someone close to him. Get out of our town, you fascist pig. Those were the words from my mouth. I've never seen his face twist so painfully. Do you hate us that much? We couldn't shake or nod our heads in reply. It seemed like an eternity passed before he said go and released us. The next day there was no change in his attitude. As usual, he made his requests to the squadron crew chief. The poor fuel quality is affecting thrust. As soon as the Allied forces drew near, the resistance would end the blackouts over the city. Oh, the drama. He's just a kid. This is what war does to people. What war does to humans, to the human experience. Oh. I've had some unusually satisfying back of the head scratches lately. I'm not like complaining or anything. Some I've noticed.
Maybe I'm like, there's a certain sensuality erupting in my body. We will now liberate this city. The heaviest resistance will come from the tank battalion near Route 7 in Old Town and the anti-tank helicopters near the new city government complex. In addition, you must defend our allies from any airstrikes that may originate from the airport behind you. The resistance fighters will end the blackout over the city. Suppress all enemy resistance and help liberate the city. Sounds like it's uh, mostly air to ground. Okay. Maybe this is. Maybe I try the rockets. I just don't have a lot of faith that I can line up really good strafing runs on stuff. Doesn't necessarily look like the targets are grouped in lines either. No, they're kind of clustered. I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Why not? Let's see if there's a new anything new out there. I think the F2A is still what I got. Yeah. Rockets are hard but fun to use. That's kind of what it seems like. It seems like it's it's like more exposure and a clumsier weapon for not a lot of payoff. If you go slow in yaw, it's not too bad. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's much of a problem with just stalling out in the air, really. Unless I'm just like, unless there's planes directly on me right then, you can usually get away with it. It's not like uh, anti-air stuff on the ground is that dangerous. I'll give it a shot. What have I got to lose? It's war. War is fun, all right? There's no A-10? There. Mobius-1, Sky-Eye here. The resistance just stop. ended the blackout. Commence operations. Sweep out all enemy forces in Old Town, New City, and the airport. Damn, those mechanics were slacking again. It looks like there is a pretty good, pretty good ground cluster of ground targets up here. Government complex at Vector three two zero on the nose. Clear to engage. Bandit confirmed at Vector three two zero. Mobius one engage. I see you. Twelve o'clock. Oh, there's friendlies down there. Bravo one, this is Bravo three. Hold on to the prisoners. Various explosions and reports from the fighters. Oh, that sucks. It's also like an man, it's like a city. Yeah, avoid spoilers if you could. I guess I have to would have to admit I'm not a Oh, this this place. I remember this. We apologize for the momentary disruption of this live broadcast. You can even hit that. Take destroyed. Watch out for anti tank fire from the choppers between the building and Bravo 10. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not feeling. Ugh. I'm not feeling these rockets, man. Well, that was just a bad shot. Alright, that one was on me. All on that one. Proceeding to Peace Park. It's also just really dark. Uh, I want to change my gun. Is there a re there is a re refill? It's unguided, right? I think that's the other guy. All right, I've got Mobius One. Bandit behind you. Tank destroyed. The city of of many again. Obvious one, box two. Under center. Enemy vehicle destroyed. It's only good clumped with targets that you can can't wipe out with missiles. Kind of situation. Yeah, I guess I'd hope this would be the situation, but it doesn't seem to be. That's okay. I think I can swap. Approaching point of return. Maintain current course to refuel. One, perform landing check. You are cleared to land. Two miles to touchdown. I have to trust my trust my instruments. Touchdown. 
You're on the money. When you cut your speed, you just drop out of the sky like a rock. It's crazy. Nicely done, Mobius One. Go and prepare for your next sortie. <laughs> Still, it goes and slams a Red Bull. <laughs> Gets back in his plane. Oh, I forgot to turn. Uh, I forgot to turn cockpit. Cockpit on. Mobius what? Oh, I didn't do it. Take off. I picked the wrong thing. Uh. Oh, I picked the wrong thing. All right, well. Doing this, doing this then. That's fine. I can still, I can still blow everything up. The basic missile is still very effective. I'm on his tail. I'm right behind him. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Bandit confirmed at vector zero two zero. Or having the news report play while you're doing the Locked on. encounter is pretty cool. Aussie Maniac? Have I been? I've been busy, but I've been great. Right, I got him been traveling. Doing some exciting things. Got to host a speed run at Games Done Quick. Then, uh, Enemy vehicle destroyed. I want to work on Inside Games. It's been really fulfilling. Right. I'll move on up to the next one. Yeah, this is similar to that mission in, uh, I was kind of referring to. Sort of the three target rich environments you have to flip back and forth between. Also reminds me of a level in uh, Ace Combat 2. Kind of similar. A bigger map at night over a city. I've taken damage. I remember specifically at the time talking about what a good job the game was Set already doing airport. with its like Invector aesthetic zero, and color. On the nose. Sucks for you guys. Nothing but air. Heads up. Come on. How do you how do you change the cockpit? Warning missile. Heads up. Enemy radar spike. Oh, D-pad. 
Wait. Head up. No, it's not D-pad up. There, it's D-pad down. Alright. Yeah, that's a chunky cockpit. Holy cow. Okay. Oof, that covers up a lot of the ground. Oh boy, it is hard to see anything now. I've got my hands full! I have to keep checking my altitude. Yeah, it's down. It's down for this one. Locked on. Obvious one, box two. Missed. Down should be autopilot. That's up. <laughs> Whenever I hit up, it like levels me out. Maybe I accidentally swapped the controls at some point. Didn't know it. Heads up. Enemy radar spike. Oh boy. Ah. These guys are easier to kill when they're distracted. I can break away from him and go blow up some more ground targets. Bandit behind you. Yeah, I know. Enemy facility destroyed. Actually, might be a good time to try using these rockets. I can't anymore. I'm sorry. This this map is too dark. I have to try to see. I will use cockpit view forevermore for this one mission. Holy cow! Enemy facility. Okay, you're, I gotta aim high. That indicator is not like doesn't factor in lead or anything. That's the other thing that makes it difficult, I guess. Drop a bomb right in the center. Boy. Let's go over here in minutes. Surface target destroyed. Okay. Yeah, I can... I can definitely see, like, getting the touch for this weapon. It's being pretty effective. Thanks for the save. Mobius 1, bandit behind you. Obvious one, get out of there! Locked on, box two, hard enemy radar spike. Don't let the ISAF planes gain air superiority over the battlefield. Obvious one, hit. Alright, they're like all on me now. Hard oh, I didn't kill enough stuff. I'm out of time. Damn, okay. I need a different plane. I need a different weapon. That one, that multi-lock on ground target thing is like perfect for this particular mission. I don't remember what plane that was. It had to be this one, right? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Those rockets just hit civvies. Mobius one, Sky Eye here. The resistance just ended the blackout. Commence operations. War as hell. Sweep out all enemy forces in Old Town, New City, and the airport. Sun Emulator original hardware. It's running on a PlayStation 2. Check six while fighting. Mobius one, engage. We've got ourselves a dog fight. Pull up. Pull up. Box two. Radio failure. Chopper shot down. Various explosions and reports from the fighters can be heard. Come on at one. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Bandit behind you. It is now 12:05 a.m. Use your central mean time. Fighting has broken out to flight the next hour.
know how liberal I could be with those guys. Okay. Now I can just go back, get more of those little guys, and just keep throwing them around. Run around like they're going out of style. points on my way out. I remember seeing some speedrunner of Ace Combat dropping unguided bombs on planes with accuracy. Ugh. That's the best. Approaching point of return. Maintain courage course to refuel. True style in class. Mobius one. Perform landing. An ultimate ultimate cool guy pilot move. Mobius one, you are cleared for takeoff. Really close. Okay, so I guess here's the plan. I'll fly back this way, pick up whatever targets I can on the way. My normal missiles. Like whatever just like flybys I can get. And then uh go to that target furthest away. Radar lock. Drop all my missiles. Splash one, splash one. And then come back to the other the other base. Visible here in the dark are the tracers, engine planes, and explosions. From the lights on the base, yes. I estimate there are quite a number of them. Probably look real cool with a missile missile cam. I'm afraid I'm gonna run into the ground. Great job. Hard enemy radar spike. I've got him. Box two. Box two. Seven speed runs are just people shooting lasers at <laughs> 10,000 meter ranges. Approaching point of return. I love how it's the same game, but it's not the same game. Mobius One. Skip it again. Mobius One, you are cleared for. Right, time to bring the pain. The 
ultimate devastation. Time to claim all the points in the realm. It will soon be mine. Bandit confirmed. Along with the rank and bonus payment. I will buy an extra lar large bag of Doritos upon my return to the base. To celebrate. Bandit at 6 o'clock. Shake him off. Mm. Radar lock. Box 2. Box 2. Oh, I'm not going to give it to him. stuff. Probably not worth it to go back and try and refuel at this point. I should try to get in one of the yellow squadron. Maintain battle formation! Hard enemy radar spike. Tank destroyed. How many points they're worth though. I wasn't really paying attention to the relative value of the targets. Worth, oh wait, wait, it tells you. They're worth 150. Alright. It says right there, target. Huh. Hard enemy radar spike. Yeah. Seems like it's way more point efficient to just take out all the stationary sitting ducks on the ground. I mean that is the mission. This is what we're supposed to do. Visually confirm your targets. Hard enemy radar spike. whatevers what are those are those ground units bombers okay a single fighter has yet to be sighted but definitely from the military are occasionally I'm trying to like angle my way over there that fighter with the ribbon is Mobius one. Buster bomb shots. Okay. Huh. Mobius one, you are cleared for takeoff. Okay. Engage afterburners and I guess pray. That actually, I think, slowed me down quite a bit. Maybe that wasn't a good call. Locked 
turns a little, a little better. Well, looks like they're big and big and clumsy. Okay, two Mobius missiles. one shot down a target. Although the populated areas have been evacuated. That was an ISAP tank which just passed by us. There are tanks gathering on the highway. Locked on. Missile hit. Blackjack shot down. <laughs> Keep like overtaking me. Actually more efficient to just let them kind of fly by and then pick them up. Shit, I missed my window. Ah! Uh. Okay, well, at least this way, once I actually do gain enough speed to catch up to them, I'll be able to just pick them off. Ended at 12 o'clock. Good time. There we go. Flames can be seen even from here. There they go, flying above us. These planes are only visible when they explode. This is coming to you live. Oh, they missed? Uh, oh. Radar lock, box two. Help! Mobius one destroyed the target. All right, I've got him cornered. Blackjack shot down. It's no good. I'm gaining on this one. Don't let him escape. Why are they turning? Why are they doing this? Locked on. Blackjack shot down. Was an exhausting mission. The bombers are passing over us now. The erosion officer in charge of censoring broadcasts has evacuated as well. I'm watch Top Gun again. I haven't seen now it yet. I wanted to watch it at the Mall of America, but ran out of time. But did go to an aquarium and did ride three roller coasters. So that was very good. Yeah, I still haven't seen it. Uh, maybe this weekend. Yeah, I've seen the original. Yeah. The city has been liberated. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I've seen it. One, but a symbolic one as well. I remember not really like the last time I watched. I didn't watch it. Remember, we start over. We liberated, yeah, liberation. I uh, I watched Top Gun a lot when I was a kid. And I haven't seen it since I must have been like six or seven years old. So there's a lot about that movie that just never made sense to me as a kid. But the planes were cool and the music was awesome. That's about all I got. Like the none of the relationship stuff. It was it it was just all absurd. Like I had no idea what was going on there. I guess it's about Tom Cruise's need to live in the danger zone or something. It's better than the original. I mean, everyone loves it. So people I mean people can't be wrong. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm excited Sing. to see it. The town was free at last. And yeah, B Pans, this is my first playthrough. I never played through the East Combat series, so I'm doing it. During the night raids, the AA gunners had strafed the town in an attempt to shoot down low flying aircraft. The town militia now rounded up these gunners. They retreated as well, and now their quarters stood empty. After what seemed like a long absence, Allied aircraft soared overhead. I wondered if the fateful enemy ace, the one that Yellow 13 longed to meet, is on the 
What would happen if they ever came face to face? I fell in with the routed erusions and followed after the squadron. Hmm. Why does Whiskey Corridor sound familiar? Maybe I had a cocktail that sounded like that. Whiskey Corridor is a narrow strip of land between Lambert and Amber Mountains. The enemy has deployed a large tank force at the end of the corridor as its final line of defense. Despite being outnumbered, our allies must face this enemy contingent head on in order to advance on the illusion capital of Farbanti. Our projected casualty rate is extremely high. We need a miracle in air support to win this battle. Do we have to push right now? We ground forces and provide direct post air support to our troops. Alright. This is an anti-ground mission. Understood. New planes? Oh, I loved Zero. So I've, I've played Ace Combat Zero and Assault Horizon. For some reason, I've only played the, uh, the weirdo, the knockoff games. I mean, I could... I mean, this can, this can get the same thing. 14, yeah. Same amount of missiles. Way more agile plane. A little more, a little more maneuverability. And uh, the F-18 just looks cooler. Let's be real. One of these. I do like the destroy as much stuff as you can. This is, that's fun. This is primarily a ground battle, so our duty is to provide close air support. Destroy as many enemies as possible to assist our troops' forward movement. Let's do this. Over here first. No worries, just proceed as usual. Twenty minutes. Wow. Check six while fighting. Old Anchor Point City, at Vector 010, 8 miles. Mobius 1, engage. Am I clear to MOB? Old Anchor Point City, at Vector 010, 4 miles. Walking onto that other. Tank destroyed. Uh, is this a, did I pick? Is it a different gun than I think it is? It's the LASM, right? Near the surface. Why isn't it walking onto more than one thing? It is a different weapon. That's okay though. Enemy vehicle I think it might still work. Cooldown's a little rough. Tank destroyed. Box two, box two. They're not multi-target. Right, okay. I get it now. Hmm. Maybe it is worth going to the A10 then. Man, this is a long mission too. I'm gonna swap, actually. Hold on. Is this taking me to ship? Nope. Attention all aircraft, this is Sky Eye. I 
advanced air to ground. Okay. That's what... That's the good stuff. Attention all aircraft, this is Sky Eye. This is primarily a ground battle, so our duty is to provide close air support. Destroy as many enemies as possible to assist our troops' forward movement. Here we go. This is the real thing. Keep an eye out for safety. Yeah, the only slight bummer is I guess it doesn't have afterburner. Just a little bit of... Side of slower. So we're getting around, but that's okay. When it gets there, city, it'll be worth the wait. Eight miles. Mobius one, engage. See if I can get a cheeky kill on this guy. Ugh, I want to kill him so bad. Fine. Fine. Custom made for it, isn't it? Enemies in disguise above us. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Go get more missiles. Tank destroyed. Car car, hey, thanks for the sub. Good to see some large streams again. Fantastic hosting at GDQ. Thank you very much. I had a wonderful time. Looking forward to doing it again. Going to another exotic city, like maybe Orlando, or wherever, wherever they have a GDQ. Good stuff. Glad you enjoyed it. Thank you for the feedback. What coaster did you ride? Uh, so they were inside the like Nickelodeon theme park inside of the Mall of America. They had I like base. We basically rode the uh, the thrilliest rides they had. The coolest one was like Rocket to Bikini Bottom or something like that. SpongeBob ride, but you go straight up and then you go straight down, and then there's a loop which is cool, and there's a corkscrew which is cool. Oh hey, there's like little fires all over the place. That's neat. That one was awesome. And, and, like, really impressively, impressively designed and fun for, like, <laughs> a roller coaster in a mall. Um, Slow down. Speed's too high. Oh, you. Then I did the, like, Pepsi Orange Flash or whatever, which is just kind of a more traditional coaster, but it was still fun. And then did a fairly odd parents one, where it's, like, four seats on a platform that spins Night around as it goes around a track. Go and prepare for your next sortie. Mobius Wasn't one. able to make You're it in person hopefully next off. year. Yeah, I'd recommend it. It's fun. It's a fun time. Uh, I think you like... There's a novelty to being in the room that's great, but might wear off pretty quickly, to be honest. Because, um, like, the... The best viewing experience really is kind of at home. Uh, it's hard to get Twitch chat. 
I had I saw some people who had who like brought tablets and stuff to watch Twitch chat on, which I thought was great. But yeah, Failed. seeing Twitch chat memeing on the sides is always pretty fun. Those chairs did not look comfortable. I mean, they were actually not bad for hotel chairs. They had like a flexible back, which was nice. But yeah, after like after like three hours, you're gonna want to get up and move around. Dad wasn't there. Nah. There was the orb orb spinner. Person with the lit up orbs. I saw them like warming up. Warming up the twirls in the like little uh, hallway area where you could pick up your badge before the event started. And I was like, oh hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's like a Ren Fair now. <laughs> Shoutouts to Orb Twirler. Tank destroyed. Enemy vehicle the Twirlist? Destroyed. I don't know. There's probably a title there or something. Been done at 12 o'clock. I live in Wisconsin, so it's not too much of a hike to get over there. See with gas prices? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, but. but. Yeah, Minneapolis was a fun city to visit. I had a great time there. Good food, friendly people, some uh, some wonderful places to visit. Steph went to like a, a flour mill that exploded, so she got to absorb some, some more of the local history. I was busy doing inside game stuff. Yet again, sacrificing sweet lady video games. Yeah, I agree. I would like... I've had some some also very amazing experiences with Games Done Quick. Just like having Enemy friends over and then like having snacks and drinks. Just having people kind of... Having it be a conversation piece. I think works pretty well too. Lots too. Enemy vehicles. Did anyone offer you a hot dish or loot, or loot fisk? Unfortunately, no. I was told walleye was the fish was the fish to get in the Twin Cities. But I could be wrong. Or the, rather, the, <laughs> I guess the Uber driver could have been misguided. Box two. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Well, the, I guess the food item I did actually get was the Juicy Lucy. Very good. Hey, Mike. Thank you for the cheer. On the evening of May 2nd, 1878, a Washburn A mill exploded in a fireball. Hurling debris hundreds of feet into the air. Yeah, apparently, uh, I guess, what, 14 people died? While I use the fish to eat, all right. Well, I still have a, a little note app in my phone with all the recommendations I got, so. Even when I find myself in the Minneapolis area again, area again, excuse me. I'll definitely make sure to take a swipe on that walleye. Okay. Central line of resistance at vector two zero zero eight miles. I have to buzz it on my way back to getting more missiles because I'm running a little, a little dry. 
see if I can pick this uh, Central line of resistance. plane out of the air. Vector 200, four miles. Oh, it's a tank, there's just one tank out in the middle of nowhere. Not for long, buddy. Tank destroyed. Yeah, you know it. I can mop this up. Yeah, let me do this. They're all spread out. I think normal missiles are just fine. Might as well. Tank destroyed. Yeah, it's it's nice. I mean. Doing things like that are the exact sort of thing that I thought I would start doing in 2020. Like I'd have the time and the ability to get out and like go to events and not just have everything be poured into the, the one thing. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Tank destroyed. It's still, it looks like there's like six targets right there. Six, seven. I can get them all. I can do it. And I can go... Refuel, and then that'll be enough to take out the last two clusters of enemy units. Tank destroyed! What the heck? That's a lot of planes. Fox two, Fox two. Tank destroyed. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Hey! Obi's one hit. Spread out! Don't give them an easy target! Did you return to base? Does that heal any damage it took? Technically, have cleared the level, except to not die. Now. Keep an eye out around you. Did the molten, juicy Lucy cheese burn you? I've seen many first timers ignore the warnings. No, no, no. I, uh, I obeyed the warnings. Or rather, I timidly. Three, five, zero. I timidly nibbled at the, uh, the meat packet. <laughs> Just remember all that you learned during training. Until I could squeeze out express a little inner cheese and that gave me a, a sensibility to its internal temperature but no it was a purely it was a delightful eating process and i enjoyed it thoroughly yeah but the server was very much like with all the uh with all the theatrics of somebody who said it a million times a day the waitress was like don't eat it right away it'll burn you and i was like okay i understand thank you so i listened Mobius One, you are cleared for takeoff. I got a beer called Grain Belt. I was like, my God, it doesn't get more uh, it doesn't get more America's heartland than Grain Belt beer. You go to Matt's Bar Five Eights, Matt's. Uh, yeah, because I know there were two, and I just kind of like perused a few photos and made an arbitrary decision. What food was this? A cheese-packed hamburger. Enemy defensive position. The delicacy of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Four miles. And it was damn good. 
I also just realized it's been a long time since I've had like a basket of fresh fries. And man, were they great. Oh, man. It's been so long. You know, like quarantine fries are just not right. Hard enemy radar spike. fun because sometimes it's a 45 minute wait and they try to get people in and out fast. I mean, the service was really fast and I appreciated that. And it was one of those where it looked like they had put tables and seats everywhere they would fit. But it was like really delicious, reasonably priced. Couldn't help but think if that place were operating in LA, like their menu prices could probably be doubled just for the novelty of it. If like, if an, if an Instagram model went there. Those burgers would be like 18 bucks. That was actually a, uh, but that was just a feeling in general that I had a lot doing anything in Minneapolis. Is I didn't have to wait in line very much. So that was nice. I think the kitchen at Matt's would fit any Cali restaurant regulations. Ah, uh, good point. That was a weird thing I, I learned when I moved here, is that, like, in California, restaurants get, like, health, health ratings, and they're required to post them on the door. So if a restaurant, like, misses some, some like, health and safety checkpoint stuff, it has to point, it has to, like, put a big old B in the window. That's okay. I've gone to restaurants that have gotten bees. Oh, New York, same way? That's pretty cool. Oh, that's right. Pillboxes take two missiles. I have time to go refill. I think I have time to refill. I should have done. And then I can, I can strafe that one base and just leave this. Man, that top one is too far away. Yeah, pizza places with B or C, probably okay. Sushi place, no thanks. Yeah, that's a good idea. Point of return. Maintain the stakes change, pun intended, based on what you're Mobius eating. One. Mobius one, you are cleared. For like that kind of anywhere else in America you just live in the land of inconvenience California yeah it's it's crowds it's just the density of the population here I imagine it's similar in like London or Tokyo uh, you just have to wait in line for pretty much anything or like if it's an event that offers some kind of VIP like you just have to pay extra to wait less that's usually the trade-off Tank destroyed. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Enemy facility destroyed. Tank destroyed. Oh yeah, people who stand in line for you, that's right. There's a, whole, there's a service for that, right? Like you can just hire people on an app? Enemy facility destroyed. 
Whoa. Sorry, I'm getting a little wacky out here. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Mobius one, box two, missile hit. I haven't hit either of those guys. Damn. I visited LA. It was the getting around taking so long that was the real hassle. Tried to take transit for one day in LA. It ended up with me calling a left home. Yeah, unless you know the like the bus routes pretty well. I don't know. Depending on the traffic, the public transit is just as inefficient as dri taking a car. And it depends where you're going to. If it's like on or off of a major a major street. But yeah, the public transit here is is textured the best word I can give to it. It does require a bit of uh, expertise to use. I had I had a lot better success in this city with a mixture of a metro card and a bicycle. Because you can take... Oh yeah, the trains being 15 minutes apart. They're not that long apart during like rush hour, but during rush hour also the trains are full, so you end up having to wait for a train or two. So yeah, that sucks. I agree. Um, they could definitely use more traffic on those lines. Uh, the public transit as it is is that definitely a capacity in LA. Sky Eye here. The enemy is in retreat. Our troops are advancing. Mission complete. All aircraft RTB. But, uh... Yeah, it's just... It's a lot of ground to cover. Uh, and it's really dense. LA is big. LA is big and it's hyper dense. So, like, going from one area to another is really like going between boroughs in New York or something like that. And people joke about, like, moving moving a couple of blocks away and being in a different world in New York, and that's kind of true. I kind of get it. The enemy abandoned. Only in L.A., I saw two overturned cars and a guy on the highway lose control of his car and cross three lanes of traffic to end up facing us. No one hit anyone, which was a miracle, on a single trip to the airport. <laughs> I have seen a car on fire in LA. That's, yeah, in the like shoulder of the highway. Like flames, just whoosh. Yeah, it's a fun city. Yeah, but I have a motorcycle, so if I'm in a hurry, I can like try to push it. But really, it's just not worth it, you know? Really not worth it. To be really aggressive on a bike. Get where you're going, like, 10 minutes early, maybe? The enemy GHQ is located beneath a landfill on the coast of their capital, Farhanti. Bring it under control to end this war once and for all. I'm saying how much freight LA moves by truck. I refuse to drive anytime I visit my brother there. Yeah. Boy, the truckers around here are like next level drivers. I am an, I am amazed. Enemy tank forces are also closing in the large vehicles that people can move through the, the city with efficiency. Joining forces from the enemy GHQ. We know that Megalith is being developed as Megalith. The enemy must be prevented from using it as their last ditch effort. I mean Long Beach is right there. There's there is a major shipping port. Which I can only imagine only contributes to you know, the economy of the area. So again, a, another pretty heavy ground fight. I think I'm gonna take the uh, the F-18 this time though. Trains in LA are crazy. Taking a transit train from Union to Tustin was a huge hassle. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I agree. It's not really a grid in LA. It's more like a spider web. Um, all the lines spiral out from Union Station, and very rarely do they have interconnecting branches. So, unless you're like going directly along an artery, you have to go all the way to downtown and all the way back out, which sucks. There's not a whole lot of nuance to getting around. So yeah, it is so dependent on like where you're going. It can be fine in LA. It can also not be fine. Uh, really, you do need like a hybrid approach to get around in LA public tra transit. You have to know like bus to train to bus. And the buses have to be like fast buses. 
And it's it's not that bad to get around, but you do have to really feel the texture of the city. Like driving ever since there's navigation apps aren't so bad. But Google Maps is pretty good, but man, is it like the bus is like five minutes late or five minutes early. That's gonna throw everything off. A cascading series of events. Yeah. I, I eventually figured out how to get where I was going, keeping transfers to a minimum and like really reliable trains and buses that were on pretty reliable streets. Like I figured it out. It could be something as simple as like catching a bus stop that's like a block north or south from the road you actually want to get to instead of just going right to the pin or right to the cross in the intersection. Just head out to LA in another month. Haven't been in seven years. Is the transit worse now? It really depends. It really depends. Uh, it depends what you're going to do. If you're going to drive around the city all day, yeah, probably. It's really not bad. Like, I would say it's more evenly distributed nowadays. Like, the rush hours are still there, but they're not as bad. But everything else is a little bit worse, you know? So it's, it's like, evened out. I think the average intensity of the traffic is still the same. Probably a little more. Oh, yeah. Live near Austin and you've seen people exit the freeway via the grass median. That feels like a Texas thing, though. I, I, see pe I saw people doing that a lot in Texas. Something about the rugged individuality of the state. And people driving, like, raised trucks. There's a lot of, like, I make my own road mentality in Texas. And then, yeah. Texas freeways always had a frontage road, which is not a thing in California. It was like, there was like a very predictable met, uh, interchange of frontage roads and highways. Let's for the name of this track. Man, it's a good one. My phone can't find it. The hell is a frontage road? A frontage road is a feeder road that runs parallel to a highway. Uh, it, it exists where there's plenty of space. So there's like a whole highway and then there's just a dinky little road running alongside it. Uh, the idea being that if you're turning onto a highway, you don't turn onto the highway from a major road. You turn onto the frontage road and then get up to speed. And then the frontage road has a ramp that feeds onto the highway. It's very nice because it's like a little buffer area for like maybe figuring out where you need to exit or or like getting cars to come off, off of highway speed to get ready for a turn onto a smaller street. There are usually street lights on them to kind of throttle that traffic too, but again, it's a... Uh... Oh yeah, and it allows the underpass. Yes, the left-handed U-turn. The Louie. Yeah, that's always really handy. I, I grew up depending on the uh, the left-handed U-turn, which is so handy if you miss if you miss an exit or miss a turn or anything like that. And then yeah, it's gone. <laughs> now it's just chaos. Uh, all right, I was gonna take the 18. Actually, wait, let me check the check the what the aircraft was. Maybe there's something new hot. Something new and hot. Oh, there's, there's, there's our goodies. Come on home. Come on home, Raptor. Precision guided bomb. Guided freefall bomb. Precision attacks with service turn. And uh, you know what? Why not? XMAA. What the heck is that? Advanced medium range air to air. Ooh. But it, it is. Let's go with this one, actually. F22's got it all, baby. Came for when you play Ace Combat 5. That's the next one, right? The outcome of the war rests on you. I can't remember when Stay zero factors in there. Hand. Remember, survival is paramount. Good luck to you all, and Mobius 1. An end to the war would be a nice birthday gift as well. Mobius 1, engage. Viper 3, engage. You're too close. Well, 
lay down and let me do it. He's okay. Giving up, huh? Got his tail. Fox 2. Bandit confirmed the vector. I'm curious to see how these bombs work out. Johnson Memorial. It locked on. Vector 360. I can also just shoot it. Oh, like that, huh? Absolutely just bombed a civilian building. That's an oops. Bandit confirmed at Vector 350. Music is rad, though. The music really takes the sting away from the war crime. Bandit's in gun range. That's a kill. Let me like change targets. Johnson oh, there we go. Destroyed. They're cut off now. to fly into the bridges. At least one attempt. You got it. Box two. Tank destroyed. I will do that. Sorry, I can't. Box two. Box two. Enemy vehicle destroyed. I gotta fly under the bridge, that's right. Jamming out too hard. I'm gonna blow up their homeland and style on them while I do it. AA guns destroyed. Soundtrack bangs, right?
Are the, are the like orangey targets worth more points? Like higher, higher priority uh, targets? Or something? Huh. Enemy resistance is tougher than we expected. Mobius 1, Fox 2. Nice Enemy submarine sunk. I don't like the way they were hiding in there. Very suspicious. We're taking tank fire from the landfill. Fox 2, Fox 2. I know no tank destroyed. Lived yet? If you haven't blown up the marine platform from the inside, Macy Seven's fleet mission. I haven't. I haven't. I'm excited to. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Oh no! Always one crashed. I was, I was so fixated on watching the missile miss that tank that I just flew right into that. God. I feel like that's the. Oh wait. The outcome of the war rests on you, so stay focused on what's at hand. Remember, survival uh, is this, These bombs, Good I don't know, they're alright, I guess. And Mobius 1, an end to the war would be a nice birthday gift as well. Mobius 1, engage. on his birthday and it'll land on his birthday? Oh, I forgot about that. Starfield can be the success that Star Citizen wanted to be. It seems like Starfield was relatively more focused in scope. Yeah. I guess more focused, sure. Yeah, I don't think they're trying to be the same game. I think uh, instead it'll probably be a good enough version of that fantasy for people. I feel like that's kind of the more... Submerged municipal area in Vector 240 on the nose. Maybe the more uh, accurate way to say it. Oh, uh, accurate. Realistic. Mobius 1, Fox 2. So that's Mobius 1. Enemy submarine sunk. Nice. AA guns destroyed. 
Yeah, I think I think all it takes is like waving the Bethesda magic wand of a really gratifying and endlessly grindy gameplay loop. Plus like all the all the tropes and fantasy of space travel to be a really popular kind of thing. Like No Man's Sky got there, but it's still it's still a little maybe like thick. AA guns destroyed. I guess I haven't played No Man's Sky in a while. Can't really comment on it. Mobius one, box two. Chopper shot down. Tank destroyed. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Tank destroyed. Mobius one pickle. Bandit confirmed at vector zero six zero. think they would actually hit me. Tank destroyed. Enemy battleship sunk. We've taken heavy losses from the battleship fire. Hang in there. Don't give up. This is the PS1 or PS2 version. I think... I'm pretty sure this game only came out on PS2. So, PS2. PS2. Got the points. Go back and get some stuff. Went from no story or general direction to being over almost overwhelmed by how much story and missions there are. Okay, so there's there's just a ton of like, hey, go here, do this. Look at all these wonderful things. Yeah, that makes sense. I can see how that would change the impression a lot. Also, yeah, No Man's Sky had a had a mixed history. Approaching point of return. Maintain current course to refuel. Wait. Crystal Dynamics updated their media banner logos with silhouettes of Lara Croft, Raziel from Legacy of Kane, and most importantly, Gex. New Gex absolutely Mobius confirmed. One, cleared for takeoff. I suppose. That. That means uh, not only is Gex absolutely confirmed, but that means that Crystal Dynamics is making it. Crystal Dynamics and Gex together at last. The world's first quadruple A Gex experience. Confirmed at Vector 340. The one we've deserved this whole time, finally. Bracer Group. Radar lock. Ah, uh, you nerd. What a dweeb making me miss like that. Enemy radar. 
car spike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real? No, that was fake. Tank destroyed. Mobius one, box two. AA guns destroyed. Shredding music, so good. Those tenacious erosions, why won't they surrender already? Radio tenacious erosions. Enemy radar spike. Missions, home base missions, missions to get new ships and upgrades, missions to explore, missions to become a space pirate and have your own fleet. They add more content two to three times a year in a big update. That's awesome. That's so cool. And all at no extra cost. I mean, I'm. That wasn't meant to be like an accusatory question. I I would think it's even awesomer if they found a way to like tastefully work in extended monetization, just to keep supporting it as a whole entertainment platform. Box two, box two. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Obvious one, box two. Ticklin or picklin? A little bit of both, I think. I think a little dashable. Mobius one, shut down the chopper. Heads up, enemy radar spike. Tank destroyed. I mean, this map is pretty clean. Oh no. Oh no. Is it just? I think it's just aircraft. Where absolutely everyone is dead. Radar lock. Box two. Target hit. Culture exterminated. Enemy leaders are using choppers to escape from the HQ. Pursue the chopper. Box two. Bend it down. That's a kill. Feels like it was supposed to be a little more climactic. Great! Bandits in gun range. Heads up, enemy radar spike. Alright! Uh. Bandit behind you. Heads up, enemy radar spike. Bravo 13 here. We're on sight. Missile! Hold left! Nothing but air. Heads up. Mobius 1, Box 2. Tango 4 here! We're all targeting, going in! Bandits in gun range. Mobius 1, missile! 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 Hard left! I'm trying... That one, that dude had a unique name. I don't know what's going on there. Mobius 1, 5 aircraft are closing oh. in at high speed. It's the Yellow Squadron. Looks like they've come to make a last stand for Arusia. Let's settle this once and for all. Leave the choppers to the others. You can end this war. Oh shit, they're right there. Shooting down unique names unlocks paint schemes. Really? I, I don't recall seeing any menu in this game for different paint schemes. Well, that's cool. For no microtransactions, there's a premium credit system in the game for decorations and cosmetics. You can only earn the stuff Quicksilver by doing weekly missions and community stuff. They've gone on record saying they have no intention of ever adding microtransactions to Nobody's no man's That's cool. Man. 
Shoutouts to them. Oh, I should have changed my I should have changed my missile. I'm gonna change my missile. Just throw this in reverse one more time. Mobius one. Yeah. Mobius one, you are cleared. All right. I'm gonna beat up a squadron of aces all by myself now. Got one? Awesome. Why did all of the, like... Maybe I should fly over my friendly plane, or friendly ships, so they, like, might shoot at these guys for me? Can you guys help out a little bit? Gosh, that'd be rad of you. Fox One, hard enemy radar spike. Mobius One, Fox Two. Missile shot trashed. I guess I can spam those a lot more than I thought I could. Hard enemy radar spike. Evade! Evade! Missile! Hard left! Box one! Mobius one! Missile! Oh. Missile! Mobius one! Deflect! I'm working on it! Break! Missile! Hard enemy radar spike. Box one! Break! Missile! Box one! Box one! Target destroyed! And Mobius one! Like they eventually just level out and let you shoot them. Hard enemy radar spike. Oh. Kid didn't get to say bye at his adopted dad. Down the five aircraft that appeared. Air superiority is ours. You and that's what alive, that's what happens in war. 
and it's rad. Morrissey, thanks for the prime. Okay. It's a weird thing to specifically report. On September 19th at 1200 hours, Erugia accepted the ISAF terms for surrender. Our victory came at an extremely high cost in casualties. Yellow 13's body vanished into the blue skies, never to return to Earth. Only a single handkerchief fluttered down from the sky where he disappeared. The faint scent of perfume. The barkeep's daughter and I had followed the squadron this far. Each of us had our own thoughts as we buried that handkerchief. It no longer mattered to me whether that was 13 or 4's grave. Their memories blurred together as one and left the realm of reality like a dream. The terms of surrender were accepted that day, and the war was over. Or was it? I actually haven't seen Ma Maverick yet. Oh, on Sea Boy. A group of young Erujian officers have taken over Megalith, the super weapon that was under development. Megalith is a rocket launch facility that can shoot down asteroid fragments in orbit. The only way to destroy this highly dangerous and fortified facility is to hit it from the inside. Excellent. Follow the missile port groups to find the three generators deep within the facility. Destroy the generators to access the central heat vent. Once inside, destroy the giant missile in the central silo. An infiltration unit will secure your escape route. Excellent. Their plan calls for waiting until the generators are offline, and then taking over the sub-control room once the blackout hits. Enter this rat's nest with full confidence that the unit will get you out again. Okay. It's highly likely that this will be your final mission. Remember, we need heroes after the war too. Make it back in one piece. So this is just like a big, this is like a big stupid goof mission at the end of the game. The war is over, but you still got to go blow up this like sci-fi base. Rad. Very cool. There's only three targets. Easy. I'm actually going to take a quick break. I'm going to take a break at maximum tension for the restroom. Be right back. It's time for the epic conclusion. Time to blow up this thing. For the great truth of, of my country. The super secret last slot unlock, it did. S37A. Some stealth ability. They talk about the swept forward wings. It's kind of hard to tell, but is that like a Ace Combat 3 looking plane? Whatever. The F-22 is all I need. That's all there is, really. on the wrong scene. We are from different nations and of different races. We have fought, suffered, and died together. Fighting for what we believe in. Fighting for freedom. Today, we shall gather for the final battle. To liberate our beautiful continent and restore freedom to our people, our friends, and our families. Our victory will have beginning of a new era of prosperity for the Yushin continent. Victory will be ours. We 
we shall return peace to our people. We will win back our freedom and our future. The skies belong to everyone. Now, let us take back our shattered skies. He said the name. Oh, oh man. I did it. So good. If only he had worked Ace Combat. You have to be Ace at Combat for our Shattered Skies. That would have been the real. That would have been the real juice. But still, God bless. Anyway, I'm glad I waited. I'm glad I waited to switch back to this because that was beautiful. Oh, got a little tear. A little cry tear. All right, Megalith. Oh, come on. A bird? We're doing these, like, flash cuts, too? Oh, my God. There's lasers. Oh! What? What? Sky Eye here. All Mobius aircraft report in. Mobius 2 on standby. Mobius 3 through 7 on standby. Mobius 8 on standby. Preparations are complete, ready for battle. All aircraft follow Mobius 1. I got it. There we go. Oof. That's immersive, all right. It makes me feel like I'm an F-22 pilot. I, mean, I just do I just have to fly in or is all part of it? Fox two, Fox two, Bravo one here. All teams are on the thirteenth floor, but we can't get the sub control room to open. It's an electronic lock. We load the position until the generators are destroyed. So hurry up. Here they come. Don't let the enemy get through panel K. Alvin, use your hand. Gotta destroy generators. So sick. There's like a guerrilla ops mission going on on the radio. Missed. Missile break. Evade. Evade. I think I might need to go back and swap uh, to the other. Come on. Lock on. Missile break. Quick. Missile. Box two. Okay, never mind. I'll just I'll just fly through. Bandit at eleven o'clock. I think that's what they want me to do. Fox two. Fox I can just stay here to farm score. Missed. Tussling it up with some other ace combats. Four. Shattered skies. I see it. Yeah, the shot. The skies are literally shattering. Game. This game really pulled it out, justified its title. So you gotta fly into little tunnels, right? Or has that not happened yet? Oh, generators. Yes, I heard about that. I was told about this. Side. Missile! Hard left! Something. Uh, it's no good!
have to enter the tunnel. Okay. to go into the tunnel that has the target on it. That won't just kill me. I won't just die. I won't fly into the tunnel and die. Okay, I did. Oh, oh gosh! Holy cow, okay. That's a mean turn. Preparations are complete, ready for battle. All aircraft, follow Mobius One. I feel like picking a really slow plane would be the, the strat here. Mobius One, engage. Oh, rad. Later, nerds. I guess I, I see the arrows. Are, you, are those open down there? Is that what they want me to? Okay. Reload the position until the generators are destroyed. I think I see. Here they come. Don't let the enemy get through panel K. Altman, use your hand grenades! Damn it! We've got flamethrowers! Shoot! Shoot! Get him on the stairs! Fuck, Sue! He's heading this way! I'm hit! Still defensive! Oh no! Fox 2! Fox 2! He's shooting! Fox 2! Okay. I see. Don't give up our air support, we'll do something. Okay. So I guess the generator in that other tunnel was on just on the other side of that wall. So that's explicitly the exit. Alright, I think I understand. Hard right, now! Missile! Hard left! So those are open down there. We had a little green arrows. Krill is short for Krillium. Is that what whales eat? Hello, my whale partner. I've prepared us a nice plate of Krillium. Ooh. Dear. Okay. Yeah, modern game design would put a light there or something. Like something to make it very explicit that you're not just flying into a, a black wall. Uh. Right. Pull up, it says. They've got us trapped! The enemies at panel B! A path of retreat's been cut off! We're trapped! Uh. Alright. Charlie One here! We can't hold it any longer! We're pulling back! Trillion sounds like something in Star Wars. Trillion warrior. Where are you? Have they blown up that generator yet? A few? Are all my homies shot down? They are. My guys are all dead. Mobius one, deflect! It's all up to Mobius. To save Hollywood and uh, the Allied Six forces. And a 
America? what I was going to do. Let those pilots die. Uh, uh, uh. It looks like you can just kind of hit him from this stripe here, right? Oh! That's not good. Oh, okay, it's gone. Uh, how did we get into that one? That's not gonna work. I guess it's in the. Oh, yeah, I guess the big one in the middle, huh? Bike is short for bike. Bikeel? Bikeel? Now, Bikeel, you come back. Oh. Oh, okay, I, I see. Yeah, shame about that one missile. Someone else is gonna have to pick that one up. Jonathan C. Beichel. That's cool. I got a little door to fly out of. Zoom. Watch out. We've got Red ahead. Thanks for the sub. God bless. But what does he do with the rest of his life? Plays Ace the Combat. once familiar Whoop. scent of burning jet fuel has long since faded away. What was once Yellow Squadron's runway is now just a local highway again. I write this letter to you now. I know it must have brought him unexpected joy to have an opponent like you at the end of that meaningless war. At least that's what I want to believe. Only you, the pilot who shot him down, can confirm this. And so, I write to you. Twist? Oh, now this is... Vibe as shit. It's a big aesthetic in this menu. Yesterday's disappointments. They keep reminding me. Tomorrow surely come in. Just as sure as the air I breathe. Well, this track is in there.
man. Experiencing ultimate video game satisfaction right now. Jell's Universe, thanks for gifting a sub. Acid jazz was such a thing in Japan at this time, because a lot of it worked its way into video game soundtracks. I'm not complaining. It's such an odd kind of music to have, like, temporal uh, popularity, though. It seems like that happens, though, in the Japanese music scene. Occasionally some, like, rather obscure sound will get get really popular like metal metal hit really hard it went full puddle of mud for the next game what rad grungy guitars dudes in tank tops Is a smooth groove. Oh man. Namco ass ending credits ever. Yeah, yeah, it does. I've been, you know, what's weird. Thanks to the releases on PC, I'm getting a lot more familiar with Namco Bandai, Bandai Namco, whatever order it's in. They're a fun company, <laughs> sure. <laughs> They're goofy, man. Uh, I like it. There's always just a weird goof in their games. <laughs> I guess they never lost that. I feel like their their releases slowed down for a couple of years, but they've always put out like like low key heat. Maybe it's not fair to say low key, but I remember like they their Naruto games were like pretty sick. Um the 360 era. Damn, cool game. Okay. New game plus. Cool, cool, cool. What's on the deck next? Uh, AC5 or AC0? I don't know. Which one was released chronologically? That's, I guess, the next one. Steven. Steven Milemore. Thank you very much for the resub. And the year. Happy anniversary. All right. Now that I've completed this video game, it's time to give it away. One second. Good, uh, it's good music for this. Ace Combat 4 Shattered Skies. Uh, <laughs> this game is, is worth, I want to say, let's see here, this is an S graded game, so that's worth at least $250 right there. That's a really fa. Oh, shit, I didn't take the tag off. Well, it's, um, if you take that tag off, that's gonna, the value's gonna shoot right up, $250. Uh, but yeah. There's that. It's got the manual. Let's give her an old flip through. Not a greatest hits version. Yeah, right. The manual's in crisp condition too. I'm kind of nice to the people at the game store, so I think they hooked me up. I'm hoping, like, I always appreciate it when the game gives tips. Or the manual gives tips. That's kind of what I try to go for. I always like whatever copy they crammed in a manual and they were like, maybe this will help. Yeah, it's just kind of telling me how to buy planes. I figured that out. This is all very dry. Localizer needle. Light. 
techniques. Okay, and there's just all the, oh, the registration cards in here too. Sorry, you guys are just kind of staring at my scalp. Does the manual smell like cigarettes? No, it actually just smells like paper. Like it smells like properly stored paper. It smells like a library. This manual is actually in really, really good condition. Damn, so. Yeah, there's no kid vomit on it or anything. I guess for fetishes is safe. A nice little click. Oh, look at all that game data. You've just seen it all. You've experienced it all. And now you have a chance to win it. So let me pull up my giveaway. Event. Also click. Oh, mouse cursor, where'd you go? Oh, that's right, it hasn't been in this configuration before. Ah! I need to turn that on. Hold on a second. Musical cutout for just a second here. I have to turn my uh, giveaway overlay on. That requires an amazing amount of clicks because my setup is is perfect. There we go. There's simply nothing wrong because it always works. All right. You want to win this copy of Ace Combat Four? Declare your desire and your status as an ace by writing ace in chat. There we go. Get some, uh, get some raffle music going for giveaway. I don't know. I don't know legally what this is. I don't know legally because I, I don't know. It's just free, right? That's not regulated, is it? Maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Sue. Let's go to court over this. Interesting. So I guess Ace Combat 5 is the next one, chronologically speaking. Unsung War. Pull that out. And then, okay, then zeros after that. I also have that, and it's also a multi million dollar game. Uh, have it in my hot little hands. Manual's a little thinner this time around. For five. Engage in an epic story with multiple game modes and unlockable extras. Enjoy exquisitely rendered environments and effects at 900 miles per hour. Pilot 50 licensed, authentically detailed planes and choose your aircraft colors. Issue orders and coordinate squadron attacks with split-second precision. That's technically true, I guess. The game runs it over one frame per second, so... When your life can be taken in a split second, your commands must be taken even faster. Own the skies in the fifth installment of the landmark Ace Combat series. The year is 2010. A surprise air attack has put Sand Island Base on red alert. Now you and the elite pilots under your command have been called up to pull two opposing superpowers back from the brink of war. Cool. Yeah, this case has been through it a little bit more. That's weird. 
worth almost as much as your card collection. Almost. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's worth it's worth just an unfathomable amount. Okay, there's, there's some water damage going on here. Perhaps, uh, perhaps the juice got loose at a slumber party? While people, young tots, were together in another time, another age, communally enjoying the art of Ace Combat 5. And then, uh-oh, here he goes. Fruit cocktail on the floor. The kids still, still do sleepovers. They must, right? Well, I guess you could just do like an all-nighter together on Discord or something. All right, let's see who wins this. Who's going to win it? Let's find out. Ooh, J10 Jep 2. I don't know if... I'm trying to think if there's a cooler way to read that. There might be some lead speak I'm skipping out on. But congratulations. I will contact you via Twitch Whisper. You just need to provide me some kind of uh, address to send that to. I guess that'll wrap it up for the stream today. Thank you all very much for watching. Thanks again to V Rising for sponsoring the stream. Uh, if you were interested in that, looking for a game to, uh, to level serenely and beat up some bosses with your friends, that looks like a really cool one. Actually, uh, it might. Uh, a friend already told me about a different server, so maybe I'll get multiplayer actually going. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, and again, thanks to the sponsor. Check it out. Uh, I'm, I don't think I can stream tomorrow. Uh, I have to write Inside Games, and then Bruce and I are going to shoot some Patreon stuff for Inside Games. So, uh, I think I'll be back on Friday. And Friday means it's going to be Force Friday. I should be back on Star Wars The Clone Wars, which is pretty mental. The game is... It's got a whole energy I wasn't expecting. It's just relentless explosions, which is pretty cool. So I'm excited to get back to it. And then uh, MediaTek Block. And I might be, uh, I might get some rhythm games in there. Like sandwich them in. Yeah, that's what's gonna go on for the next few days. So thanks again, have a good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.